the event is one, and this is a tool you guys certainly can embrace. It's a free tool, believe it or not, on a bed right. You know what this is, this is good. Yes! Oh, would, would you want to run through it, mate? Because you're, you've actually been involved in the day. I never was. <laughs> Oh, we were just involved in it in a fairly low-key way because we just wanted to really see. So just about, it was managed through our two cellar doors, the yep. one up the building and one out of Yarra Valley. And we just, uh, we actually had an offer, so uh, people could actually buy just um, six bottles of Cabernet to go into our online shop. Yep. This was before the event. But on the day, um, anyone who came out to the library, we had a special offer on, on Cabernet. Yep. Yeah, as, as Deal. And we, we had a screen set up with Twitter form. So every comment about Cabernet with the hashtag yep. was all just coming down. And we had uh, customers coming in, and even those who weren't on Twitter. So it was yeah, a couple who came in, and the, the staff would say, Oh, would you, would you like to make a comment? And we could put it, put it up. So they make a comment about one of the lines, and so this, one of the staff would get on and say, oh, Harry and Mary said they liked. Uh, like the flavours of our you know, such and such cabernet. Yep. So it would, it would come down, and of course the Harry and Mary sort of see their, see their name up there and uh, coming down. So it was a way, a way of engaging them to sort of sell a door level. Uh, but I know, and, um, I think there were some dinners that were done um, in, in various other places where, where people came together. Yeah. And yeah, maybe next time that's something we'd explore more. But just from a cellar door perspective, uh, I think it's something that you can have a fun with. Definitely. And tying in the, the sales. Sure, I'm making like everyone that you said, like people coming in off from off like the offline world, then going, well, oh, what's this all about? Yeah. And then you educate them in that respect as well. And they're then aware, like, probably connect and communicate with you guys through the social media channels. And, and it's certainly something like the events, it's crazy that they have got you wouldn't even consider something like this. I'd like niche it to a certain, um, like a, yeah, a cabinet or something like that, but it's run by you guys, uh, and then bring other people in on it. Through the sort of thing with uh, Rick, Rick Bacchus, when um, we got the interest from various wineries, then we would put their, their logo up. Yeah. And then, of course, through the event right, being yeah. able to uh, just to pull off the particular event. event it's, it's amazing, guys. Um, and it's free as well, so why is it so good? You can give them the shoe up, it can be embedded into your website if you want. They can add it to their calendar here, they can see the time, they can buy tickets if it's a particular event, and it goes through PayPal or it's free. What you can actually see is everyone that's attending. Obviously all your sponsors can go on there as well. And people start to blog about the event as well. Well, the great thing about it, even if it's just somebody sitting at home having their having their dinner that night, but they decide to open up a, a cabinet instead of something else, and yeah. then they, they can get on and engage. Obviously, measure, and this again, so many times people just do it and don't measure. We need to measure. We need to find out whether this is successful or not, and what are we looking for? Set goals, and objectives, and obviously look at your Google Analytics. And if you're using a, a monitoring tool, whether it be ours or the free tool, Social Mention, or Radio 6 is another one out there, um, then use that as well to measure a monitor. What you can do, uh, which is like Radio 6 and some of the tools that we use, is you can put in the share of conversation about wine in Australia or globally, you can put your competitors in and then it pie charts it and who owns the share of conversation. But let's just say Cabernet. Um, that's probably not a good example, actually something more specific. Um, and then you can identify that. And then you can also identify the positive, neutral, or negative. So you can understand, yeah. So it's just like one brand has a huge share of conversation, but if you delve in deeper, it'll tell you, well, this percentage is actually negative. And yours is, you might only go 5% of yours is positive, you're only 1% negative on that side, which is a good thing. Analyze, adapt, and improve as well. So always analyze your campaigns, adapt them, improve them, look at what other people are doing, how can we make it better? Who's aware of Force Well? Yeah. Can I run through yeah. it or does yes. it yeah. Yes? Run through it. Okay, so uh, this is something that will work with you guys. Um, it's called geotargeting, geotargeting, which basically means that you can 
pick up where you are. It's on your mobile phone device called Foursquare. You can check into a place. So you download it. Only got it. Yeah, no, yeah, they definitely got it. <laughs> They're naughty in terms of social media events, they're like cleaning up here because people are checking in and sharing because we're running our event today and because he's harnessed the social media world, he's got it better and better because everyone gets it and sharing with everyone else. Um, the, the purpose is you rock up here and you press, it'll pull up all the menus around your area and um, you see Honey Bar and you check in there. Then you can share it with your friends on Facebook and Twitter if you want. So I can say, Sam just checked into Honey Bar. Why would they really want to know that though? You can add a tip if you want. Each time you check in, you get points. So let's just say I've been here three times this week, and so I've got three points. The more points you get, you become mayor. So it's like a game, it's like a battle off. This is why it works so well for local business. Um, <coughs> the venue, let's say if you're a winery, you're running it, and people check in, and John's come in, I don't know, five times this month, and he's the mayor, because he's visited your winery five times in the month. You can reward him by the man who can even put it on your website just to showcase it and it could be a battle of the people there next. But John's coming five times, we're going to reward you with a case of whatever for man. Or whoever's the man gets this. So I know at our local coffee shop, Outpost, mm -hmm. whoever gets the man, whoever's the man gets a free drink coffee each week. And I think they're about 50 bucks or something like that. So people are battling off to try and get mayorship, which means they're bringing it back to the same place because there's an incentive base there. But not only are they doing that, there's exposure online through social networks. So this is why this place does so well. If you check in, say I'm running a social media event at Honey Bar, then people are like, oh, cool, social media event, or oh, Honey Bar does events. Well, Sam goes there, and we think Sam's credible, so we're going to run our event there as well, because we trust her. So there's so many ways of building it around. And you can do that for your wineries as well, through your events. It's, it's hot at the moment, and it's a very hot pattern that will be coming in increasingly more hot, hotter, hotter, that's the word. Um, I think there's 1.5 million people on it here. I have to re refresh my stats though, because that was a while ago. Um, use it. Well, if you're social savvy people are going to spread the word for you, and you're probably going to get coverage anyway as a group, because you're using Foursquare, which is cool at the moment, and bloggers like case studies. So you can bring your attention to bloggers by saying, oh man, A W, they're using Foursquare uh, for their event. How cool is this? And this is how they're using it. This is how they're rewarding people that are coming to their event or to the specific winery. Now, Facebook Places, remember I said that right at the beginning? It's pretty much a model of Foursquare and bringing it to Facebook. So it's the same thing. So whether you embrace Foursquare or Facebook Places, you need to be aware of that it's an option. Now, I have to do it right now. But remember what I said earlier, all this information we might not drop in right now, but two weeks time will. This is probably what we'll drop in two weeks time. But, oh, there's the places, I love that. So it's the same concept. 